So let's end up with this one. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media part 63 completion in today's episode we set out to begin completing the series especially by working with the fawns and does fine-tuning and completion and we were able to do that we have completed the fawns and does score which looks like this over here and we also added uh, what we call time duration to the energy chart, which looks like this. So in other words, this was bar number from bar zero to bar 272, but some of the sections are slower and some are faster. So when you actually show the number of seconds, we get 160 seconds total. And we even were calculating uh, using just quick calculations this section here is 28 seconds, 43 seconds, 25, 28, and 27. Why does that matter? Well, we're synchronizing this with an animation, which you just saw, and we're also trying to follow the rule of thumb of having something vary within, uh, between the 30 and 60 second, you know, ability to keep your attention focused on something orally, which is kind of a rule of thumb at the moment. So uh, we added all those things to the, the actual chart here. Everything that's in yellow are things we changed today. We added a little bit of buffer measures and changed a little tempo down here. And then we also uh, updated our energy scores for things. So anyway, this is our current energy chart. We started the Fonz and Doe's animation, and uh, we learned something from that. We had to go back into our score, and originally we had the polyphone line was one line, and then we just said flute here, oboe there. The trouble was when we exported that as a MIDI file to drive the actors on our stage, um, it kept changing what channel number it was on. So the flute would be on channel six at one time, and then the oboe would come in and be on channel 12, and then the flute would come back, but instead of staying on six, it was on seven all of a sudden. And when the oboe came back, it was on nine. And, and so we had to force the MIDI files to use one channel for flute, one channel for oboe, so that we could drive the actors. And that was a that was another aha today from our learning. So that's what these represent, the flute polyphon line and the oboe polyphon line. As you can see, there is no oboe down here for a long, 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 long time until it gets to part uh, the next major part here. Nope, the next major part. there. And more than ever, we're so glad that we're using the line diagram technique because we know from experience we would have gotten lost in making these changes if we had not been able to kind of go back and forth between the score and look at the bar number. Like that is bar, we could have found it a lot quicker if we just said, hey, go to bar 78. There it is. There's so many layers now that it's just scrolling up and down forever, it feels like. So um, that concludes today's stream. What we're going to do for you is uh, play the updated version here, which includes some extra timing changes and uh, some tempo changes. So here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. We really like how it's been turning out, especially adding the nuances of slowing down some parts that anticipate what we call the the fawns are the quick section and the does are the fast section. And um, but we had the 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 uh, the fawns also slow down and speed up just a teeny weeny little bit. Uh, so now we've relabeled all these into the fawns, does, fawns, does, fawns, and uh, keeping identifying those as our main sections in the piece. So our ideas for next time are to share this work at Open Mic, which is today. We may or may not tune the score. Um, we had a one of the things we did is we went through the score and um, double checked our annotation and what what were the statences and driftances and so forth. We verified that we were resolving the sections. We, we felt that we were because of the way it listened, but our annotation had kind of gotten out of date. So we double checked all that. And in doing so, we realized that we could have scored our harmony a different way. Um, we've got other pieces to work with, and we're still thinking about that C changes idea, which is probably related to the completion idea and our favorite to be determined. As always, thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, take care and see you in the next stream.